All right, guys, let's check out the Brew Metric Retro Dial. Ordered this thing quite a while ago, finally showed up. So, and the communication was actually really good with Brew. They kept uh, me and I'm assuming everybody else up to date in their production phase and when the product was shipping. And they even forecasted when we were gonna get that shipment and they pretty much nailed that timeline. So I knew how long it was gonna take. It's just, sometimes it always seems, you know, when we're in that situation where we do a pre-order and then you're like, it just seems like it takes forever. Uh, but that was the case with this one. I was excited to get it and check it out. Just, it looked exciting. So uh, case size on this, 36 millimeter. Lug to lug is only 41 and a half. Thickness, 11 millimeter to the uh, case back to the top of the Sapphire Crystal. And lug width here, the best I can measure is like 19 and a half. So I don't know if it's a 20 or what. Uh, 19 and a half is just kind of weird. But you're pretty much going to want to wear it on this bracelet anyway. It's not like an integrated design, but it looks like it belongs on this bracelet, if you know what I mean. Just the way it flows off the case and everything. Not sized up, all links. Weighs in at 126 gram. So inside this is the Seiko Mecha Quartz, which is a, it's a quartz chronograph movement, but they call it a Mecha Quartz because there's a mechanical aspect to it when it comes to the chronograph function. So you'll feel that in the pushers. It'll actually snap. And then when you uh, release it, it actually snaps back kind of like how a, um, automatic or a manual chronograph would work, not a traditional quartz chronograph. So it's kind of like the combination of the two. So it's been running for a while and you can see the chronograph hand and the subdial over here at the uh, 9, 10 o'clock position. So if I stop it and then when I reset it, you'll see it snap back, like I said, like an automatic or a manual line chronograph would. Now with this movement, because not all Mecha Quartz has have a running seconds, this one, the VK68, does have a running second, and that is placed at the 6 o'clock position with a date positioned, um, you know, kind of right in there. It's not like right in the middle of the 4 and 5. It's like a little bit more towards the 5, but it's right in there. And if we zoom in a little bit, those dials fairly sterile other than the colors, which are, are you know, perfect. I love the colors, but you'll notice right in this section here, Kind of hard to see, but embossed into the dial is the Brew logo, which is also on the uh, push-pull crown there. It's kind of like a um, roasted coffee bean sort of thing. Brew watch, you guys get it, right? Uh, which is also why they do the um, timer. The colors here is 25 seconds, right? So from 25 to 35 is a perfect pull, like down to 25, and then you kind of get into the danger zone, but... 25 seconds is what is classified as like a the correct time for a espresso pull. So when you start that, then you know that's, you know, that's your timer for your espresso. Is that a very niche thing? Yes. Um, you know, is this watch only for people that are in that profession? No. You would be, maybe you wouldn't be surprised because I know I'm not. Uh, the people that are into coffee, coffee devices, making coffee, the espresso, all of that stuff um, is like a whole hobby in itself. The devices, the techniques, um, the flavors, all of that. So uh, this watch is inspired by that industry, by that hobby. And it would maybe, you know, I think a lot of us that are in the watch hobby are also into other hobbies. And I think there's quite a few of us that are also into coffee and specialty coffees. I'm not like, it's not a hobby of mine, but I do practice some things and I've learned new techniques and different ways of making coffee. So I guess it's a, a, another side hobby of mine. I just, I don't really talk about it here very much. Um, is that why I bought the watch? No, I think they're just really cool looking watch. You have four micro adjust on the clasp because I babbled long enough on that. You also have that little... Uh, brew uh, logo there and on the case back and the bracelet are really nice short links so you're going to be able to get a good size and they are just split pins and there's arrows so you just push them out remove whatever links you need put it put the pin back in you're good to go fully milled out center section and then there's a look at the case back uh, maybe i can zoom in again here let's so you can see the case back water resist 50 meters 
stainless steel obviously, hybrid, chrono, and then some uh, branding there on the case back. Four screws holding that down. You can see also on the solid end links, there's a little relief there. So if you want to pop that spring bar out and put it on a leather strap or something else, uh, you makes it easier to do. So, all right, guys, let's pop this on wrist. Currently on their website, these are listed at $425. I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist and I probably would take one link out of each side. So if you have a, a I don't know, it might fit a seven and a half inch wrist. So keep that in mind. But there it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Typically I would not wear a watch that is 36 by 41 and a half, but like I said, because the way the bracelet is, it's like it flows off the case. It's It feels very uh, fluid and, and nicely done. And then the taper on it is crazy good. Um, you know what I didn't measure is how narrow it is on the taper. It is under 16 millimeters. So 15.8, that's pretty dang good in my book. So there's the look. Let's kill the lights and check the loom. I see that there's spots of loom on this. Let's see how good it is. Not bad. Looks to be a green loom. Probably some sort of C3. I don't know. I don't know if my eyes aren't adjusting right. I'm assuming that's C3. I didn't see any information on the website about that, but definitely has loom. Check out the link in the description if you guys are inter interested in one. I'll see you on the next video.